I've been totally inspired once again by Tony Robbins. Um, I'm doing a challenge, which is a five day challenge. It's like a two hour a day thing. I'm just gonna read over some notes I jot down. It may make sense to you, it may not. Beliefs create, beliefs also destroy. So what you're believing in, what you're focusing on, it can create something great. It could also destroy. It's all about your mind, your mindset, what you think about, what you focus on, what you believe in. Questioning creates doubt, which creates uncertainty. You know, how quick it is just to slide into a slope. Also, he made a reference of you set your thermostat at 68 degrees. Comfortable to, you know, most. That's your comfort zone. And then things happen. You gain weight. There's a crisis, you know, a death in the family or just something bad happens. You wreck your car, whatever. Then you kind of slope down to 60 degrees with all this bad shit that happens every day. It's inevitable. Your body's like, hey, what's going on? And then, you know, then you kind of just elevate. You just jump up. You have a breakthrough. You make a change. You get up to that 75 degrees, that 80 degrees. That's, you know, you're, you're at your best. You're, you're doing this. You're making a change. So then when this stuff happens, your temperature isn't, 60 degrees you know you slope down a little bit okay you're in 68 still comfortable but you know you know you can do better i don't know if that makes sense but it did whenever tony said it <laughs> your identity your identity is like who you are how you perceive yourself how you look at yourself just who you are as a person is your identity your identity can be prison who you make yourself to be or it can be heaven so it all just goes back into mindset, who you are, how you're thinking, what you're focusing on. Um, can be prison or heaven. Kind of ask, who are you? Like, who do you see yourself as? You write it down. Like, for myself, I wrote, um, I'm generous, I'm hardworking, I'm considerate, I'm thoughtful. You write this good stuff down about yourself because that, that's who you want to be. That's how you perceive yourself. Obviously, you have more of a positive outlook on life. And then he touched on this thing called five to thrive. The, your first one is your state your state of mind, your state of well-being, your identity. Are you worried? Are you happy? Are you angry? What do you focus on more? And then we touched on um, physiology, like your movement, your health, like your your overall body. How are you moving? Are you How are you eating? How are you feeling kind of thing? Focus equals feeling. What do you focus on? Are you focusing on the bad, 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 bad? Oh my God, blah, blah, blah. This bad shit's happening. Obviously, you're not gonna feel good. What you focus on, whether it's good, the bad, that's how you're gonna feel. That's how your life is gonna be language slash meaning tone you know your patterns that shape who you are like or do you work out every day do you not work out every day do you complain every day do you you know compliment people what's your reason what you know what is your something to look forward to kind of the overall like end goal and then we touched on um, identity shapes your beliefs who you are your identity who you think of yourself is who you perceive others as what you perceive the day is like whether it's a good day or a bad day that shapes what you believe in so it's almost like a almost almost like a circle i the i should the i should this is my favorite one the i should or i'll try you either do or you don't we always say i should i should eat better or i should do this or i shouldn't let this bother me but we don't do we don't actually do it the breakthrough is not accepting the i should and the i'll try getting a breakthrough would be just like like putting your foot down to that point that you get to when you're just no longer accepting i should do this or i'll try to do this it's either doing or not and then he oh this is a good one he touched on we will find what we're looking for if you're always looking for oh well this is gonna go wrong and this is gonna go wrong you're gonna find it it's gonna be what you what you find. It's gonna be what's all around you. If you look for, oh, you know what? This this is gonna go fine. This is, you know, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna feel this and I'm gonna feel good and I'm not gonna tolerate this. If you'll do it, it'll happen. And then he put in quotes, change your story, change your life. Change your story of your reason of why, why I can't do this and why I can't do that. That will change your life. It's just like a domino effect of good stuff. And then he kind of referenced like when you're totally in love, when it's like your honeymoon phase, whatever, what's wrong? nothing there's nothing wrong because you're in love and everything's great and even when you're taking out the trash it's like oh i'm taking out the trash la 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 that was a whole nother page habits get in the way you got to recognize your patterns find what works find what doesn't work it's okay to try something new even if you have to try it try something new 50 times the 50th time is what will work and then you just stick with it whether that's your workout routine what you're eating who you're around i mean who you're around is who you are kind of the energy that you're putting yourself around pattern creation you're the you're the creator of your life it's up to you your pattern that you want to create what you want to do your routine you touch on a lot of energy stuff how is your energy is you, do you have high energy do you move a lot are you excited is your face expressions lively and fun that's obviously gonna be better if your energy is lower and you're just like slumping around and sitting there you know blah 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 it's gonna be less effective I mean that's just that's 
what it's gonna be. Oh, then he asks everyone like, what's your what's your energy level? Typically, you know, on an average daily basis when you're at work and then when you come home, a lot of people said, and like this was like an audience thing, a lot of people said five. Five is like average. He referenced in dating, would you wanna date a five? Would you want to marry a five? Would you want to employ a five? Would you wanna be a five kind of boss kind of thing? You gotta get your energy up. You gotta move and you gotta take these, these bad days and just create them into off moments. It's not a bad day, I'm having an off moment. Snap yourself out of it, look for the good in the situation and you're golden. Your overall energy is just your feelings and your identity and your state. Your movement, your face expressions, your noise, even just like good noise, you're, you're making a lot of noise doing this, you're having fun, that's good energy. That is all I wrote down, it's just so cool. If anyone's interested, it's a free event online. It is Tony Robbins Breakthrough Challenge. It is from like 1 p.m., it normally goes to like three, little after three. Oh my God, it's so good for your brain. It's so good to just get a refresher, really double check your outlook on things. And you know, if you're not feeling good, it just helps you think in, a, in such a good way. So I just wanted to put this on there. I love you all. Sorry for rambling and my red cheeks. I'm really hot because I just did a workout at home. <laughs> okay.